All right, so English is Tuesday, Maths is Wednesday. How are you feeling for the exam? Are you ready? Are you ready to mash up or to be mashed up? Let me know honestly in the comments how you're feeling about the exam. What areas you're still concerned about? I am going to do transformations. I am going to do coordinate geometry. That's all I can pretty much say about for now. You know, it's the time tight. So, if you're grateful for all the channel has done and you've really been helped by the channel, here are some ways you can appreciate me. I'll give you two ways. One, one, you can transfer one million dollars to my Scotia Bank account, one million TT, email me for the account number. Or two, you can press like on this video, press like on any video that you have viewed and that has helped you. You can subscribe to the channel and share it to as many people as possible. Sometime two or three days ago, I passed 100,000 total views. These numbers are just amazing to me. Alright, enough talk. Let's learn about histograms. My son must have holding me there. Watch. Sorry. So we are learning these stats from past paper questions and as I go through the question, I'll give you any further tips you want to know. If you're hearing chicken or birds or anything like that, it's early in the morning and they're getting on. 20 bags of sugar were weighed, the weights to the nearest kilogram as follows. These are the weights. Complete the frequency table for the data shown above. Uh, that's the frequency table there. Oh, so we need to get a little tally. This is primary school thing, boy. And then put the number back. You'll be surprised how many people get this tally thing wrong because they don't cross out. What I mean by crossing out? Alright, so we want numbers between 1 and 10. Cross out. 1, 2, 3. Three numbers between 1 and 10. Inclusive. Now I can't really put 3 there. What am I doing? 1, 2, 3. Let me make it look good. Alright, 11 to 20. Okay. 1, 2. So I, um, I'll, I'll cross this in a different color. Just to make it so, you know. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 11 to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 2. 4 marks. You better believe this is the easiest 4 marks you can ever get in statistics. 4 marks is a lot of marks. You know? Wow. Alright. For the class interval, 21 to 30, state the upper class boundary class with class midpoint. Alright, let's go and see what these things are about. Um, so we're looking at this only, 21 to 30. And we want the class width first. Oh, the upper class boundary first. Remember, boundary goes to the point five, right? It goes between the top, the upper class limit, and the lower class limit of the next um, class. All right, so upper class boundary for this would be 30.5. Hey, let me see if it are units. 30.5 kg. Yeah. The class width will be... Um, well, you're going from 21 to 30, so that's, that looks like 9, right? But the class width is actually the boundary, so you need to add any 0.5 this way, any 0.5 that way. So that's 10. So the class midpoint would be, well, we're looking at the class interval between 21 and 30. So the class midpoint would be 21 plus 30 divided by 2, which will give us a nice little 25.5 kg. Here we will have kg as well. Alright, so let's see what next they want on a grid on page 19. Alright, so they give us a graph. Um, using a scale of 2 cm, so they give us a scale. So you want to use a scale, draw a histogram. So there are some points in histogram to note when you join them to represent the data containing your frequency table above. Right, let's go. Alright, time for the histogram. So it's at a rain, so you may hear a little rain in the background. Number of bags, weights, kg. So I put in my, um, I label my axes. I put in my title and I'm going to drop a little scale on them just for kicks. But you don't need to give, give the scale if they do the scale. Alright, and there, there goes the histogram. Yeah, so let's look at this histogram. It starts at, this is a question, it starts at, the lower boundary and heads up to the lower boundary of the next class. How do I know this? Because CXE does this when they actually draw the histogram and give us questions from the histogram. So if I were to do it apart from CXE, I would let it run from the boundaries 
or I would just ignore the boundaries altogether and write 0 10 and let this be 11 to 20 um, I hope you can see that and let this be 21 to 30 whatever so I'm just labeling the class according to the class so I'm not studying about where it's starting per se but in the past examples I've seen CXE running from the lower boundary so you will just do that because you know you'll get it correct like that because that's what they did alright so we run in from the lower boundary 11 to the next lower boundary but remember the important thing the most important thing is that there should be no gaps in your histogram people let's draw a histogram like bar graph like if you join a histogram and there's a gap here you just lost a whole heap of max right there shouldn't be any gap in the histogram at all it's continuous data that's what histograms are used to represent continuous data so there's no there's no all right so let's finish off this you should also you should usually but don't get worried if you don't you should usually get a kind of boomerang effect like that on the graph right because the data will pump up to the middle and then skew back down right so around that as well just like on the cumulative frequency you usually get um a weird lookiness in this one you will get a kind of boomerang for the histogram and that's it histogram is finished so that's it. Histogram question is finished. I'll do one more statistics and frequency table. If you see a statistics problem that looking real challenging, I might try to squeeze it into. Let me know in the comments. Oh yeah, one more thing for those of you who watch the video right down to the end. Could you let me know in the comments, please, which topic, which subject you would want me to do after math exam has passed on maybe 9th Wednesday? Which subject you want me to do? It can be it can be either physics, chemistry, ad maths, or pure maths for upper six, or even physics and chemistry for upper six. So let me know which topic you think you want me to focus on. Is a democracy is a whole. So whoever, whichever subject I see most prevalent, I will just go with that one. Till next time.